Are you ready to talk about Nicki Minaj's Amsterdam ordeal and the impact of legal issues on celebrity tours? What's up everyone, and welcome. Tonight, we delve into the world of celebrity touring and the intricate dance between artistic expression and legal obligations. Our focus? The recent news surrounding Nicki Minaj's cancelled Amsterdam concert due to ongoing legal issues. Nicki Minaj, a force to be reckoned with in the music industry, has captivated audiences for years with her audacious lyrics, electrifying performances, and undeniable star power. Her tours are highly anticipated events, meticulously planned spectacles that promise fans an unforgettable experience. However, her recent Amsterdam cancellation serves as a stark reminder of the unseen complexities that can derail meticulously crafted tours. While the specific details of Minaj's legal situation are not for public consumption, the incident highlights a crucial aspect of touring, the intricate web of legalities that artists and their teams must navigate. Touring isn't just about catchy music and dazzling visuals, it's a carefully choreographed operation involving permits, visas, work visas for crew members, and ensuring compliance with local laws. Let's delve deeper. Imagine the colossal effort behind a global tour. Venues need to be booked, logistics for transporting equipment and personnel across continents have to be ironed out, and marketing campaigns need to be launched. Each leg of the tour presents a new set of regulations and legalities to navigate. Now, consider the domino effect when legal issues arise. A single unresolved case in one country can have ripple effects, jeopardizing the entire tour's smooth operation. Denied entry due to outstanding legal matters can not only lead to cancelled shows, but also incur significant financial penalties for breaching contracts and disappointing fans. Nicki Minaj's situation isn't an isolated incident. Several high-profile artists have faced similar challenges. Some have been detained at airports due to visa irregularities, while others have had concerts cancelled due to legal troubles in specific countries. These incidents showcase the vulnerability of meticulously planned tours to unforeseen legal hurdles. The impact of such cancellations goes beyond the artist and their team. Devoted fans who have saved up for months to witness their idol live are left heartbroken. The local economy of the host city also suffers, as hotels, restaurants, and merchandise vendors lose out on potential revenue generated by the concert. So, what can be done to mitigate these risks? While unforeseen circumstances can always arise, there are steps artists and their teams can take to minimize the chances of legal issues derailing a tour. Thorough legal vetting of all planned tour stops is crucial. Immigration and work visa regulations for all crew members need to be meticulously checked and double-checked. Open communication and collaboration with local authorities are essential. Building a strong legal team with expertise in international touring can also prove invaluable. Proactive planning and due diligence can significantly reduce the risk of last-minute cancellations due to legal roadblocks. However, the conversation doesn't end there. Nicki Minaj's situation also sparks a debate about the ethical considerations surrounding artists facing legal troubles. Should artistic merit shield someone from legal consequences? This is a complex question with no easy answers. The justice system needs to uphold the law, but artists also deserve fair treatment. Perhaps there's room for a nuanced approach, where the nature of the offense and its impact on public safety are considered alongside the artist's contribution to society. Ultimately, the goal is to strike a balance. Artists should be held accountable for their actions, but the touring industry also needs to function smoothly. Perhaps a system can be devised where legal issues don't automatically derail tours, but artists face consequences for their actions through fines or community service, for example. Looking beyond the headlines, Nicki Minaj's Amsterdam ordeal serves as a cautionary tale and a springboard for a larger conversation. It highlights the intricate web of legalities surrounding global tours, the impact on fans and local economies when cancellations occur, and the ethical considerations surrounding artists facing legal troubles. 
The music industry thrives on creativity and artistic expression, but it also operates within a framework of laws and regulations. Finding the right balance between these two forces is crucial for ensuring the smooth operation of tours and protecting the interests of everyone involved, artists, fans, and local economies alike. Let's use this incident as a catalyst for meaningful discussions. Can we develop a system that upholds the law while minimizing disruptions to the touring industry? Can we find ways to separate the art from the artist when legal issues arise? These are crucial questions that deserve our attention. In conclusion, Nicki Minaj's Amsterdam cancellation is more than just a missed concert. It's a microcosm of the complex challenges artists face in navigating the legal landscape of global touring. By fostering open communication, proactive planning, and a nuanced approach to legal issues, we can.